20th of January. Why don't we concentrate on what we have to do the next two weeks? So the big question is what will happen come Monday when that vote occurs, when vote Joe Biden moves over the 270 electoral votes, something that's been, of course, clear here. Will they at that point break with this president? Because, Aaron, as you know, the president is not showing any signs of dropping this fight. Mm -hmm. So there was a clear indication that Republican would never have no more backdrop that would have shielded them from this ludicrous motion. In the face of the serious blow that challenged their fundamental belief coming from the Supreme Court with the one terse line, there was no single dissident siding with the viewpoints of Team Trump. But so far, it's really interesting because there is no GOP members who came out to reject Donald Trump's audacious trial. So right now, Mitch McConnell just said that when the Electoral College would have finally cast their about votes and recognized their final decision, which it would be the climax of this election, this is really the end results the final chapter of the election, the people would have recognized what would have happened. The problem is, what if after that point, the congressional leaders in the Republican Party would have never decide to recognize the legitimacy of Joe Biden? And this would have been a disaster for national unity. That's really the reason there was a constitutional professor from Harvard Law who just actually came out urging Donald Trump to stop this type of subversion. This is really a coup, which you would be instigating more of anxiety in the country, already heavily indebted with the two different crises, coronavirus crisis and economic disaster. This is a real problem. People are have burdened with so many difficulties as of now. The president of the United States should have stopped this type of a ridiculous motion, which was rejected downright, absolutely clear. It would not require any clairvoyant power to see what was in there. This was a divert to Justice Samuel Alito, but the entire bench supported this type of rejection. The full court recognized invalidity of this type of motion because there was no probable cause corroborated by the constitutionally acceptable evidence. That was really the reason. President Donald Trump so far made no response to this type of action. This is this must have been a devastating blow. The Supreme Court's rejection would have caused a serious blow to their ego. Because they could not back up. The team Donald Trump really wanted to hold on to it. So far, there was no single indication suggesting President's willingness to concession. And that's a problem. Because the people would have still believed, a certain portion of the people still would have believed the President had a legitimate cause to waste this type of war against the system. But... Most of the people committing to common sense acknowledge the ridiculous absurdity of this challenge. So once the congressional leaders would have faced the dire consequence of the Joe Biden securing 270 electoral college members, which he would have been finalized within a couple of days, right? Then this would have been the end of the game. But the question still remains whether GOP leaders would accept that finalization by acknowledging the legitimacy of the president elect or not. There should be more responsible behavior from the representatives and the congressional leaders and senators who might actually really represent each constituent in their congressional districts. That's a problem. But this must have been a very devastating circumstances because there is no more hiding ground or breeding ground that would actually endure this type of ludicrous arguments. Their last safe haven or sanctuary city for this conspiracy was 
completely rejected and shut down. Because no single Supreme Court justice, including the three appointees selected by President Donald Trump, would never want to join him. Because they would spot no budding interest in building up on a case against Joe Biden. That's very clear. America had an election and the whole procedures throughout the, all 50 states were fair enough. That was really the argument. The, Pencil, the hotly contested battleground called Pennsylvania had enormously well-secured election procedures. And this type of a critical facts were once more confirmed by the lane's highest court. And there was a, not even one rejection challenging this type of perception. That's really the deal. This type of a succinct peeth thrown by the Supreme Court on bunk truly clarified the sentiment behind the system. According to this constitutional professor who said that these are all trained lawyers and justices. They definitely know how to read and construe the constitutional lines in accordance with the document authority. That's the real the reason they have absolutely no interest in being involved with this type of minor dispute, which would be no less than bogus bunkum, because there was no single probable cause that would be feasible enough to justify the Supreme Court's reading and a review one. That's really the deal. So far, there was no immediate reaction coming from the White House. However, there was a very interesting Twitter by Donald Trump, which actually contained Amy Coney Barrett's picture with her eyes blazing laser beam. This would be poignant. But so far, there was no immediate reaction accepting this type of devastating debacle and defeat that might put an end to all the journey of absurdity. And the people would raise up their voice to demand President Donald Trump to stop this type of division. Because really the nation needs to move beyond this type of... Um, The zones. I mean, it was not my opinion. He was a clearly a loser, and that uh, he really needs to realize what he has done. There was an unambiguous voice coming from all different corners of the society, urging him to recognize the very obvious consequence coming from the election. People were furious, and that they could not focus on this type of political temper tantrum by Donald Trump because if so many people are struggling economically or they would actually have at least one member of their family lost because of the corona pandemic crisis, it's time for them to move on and they could not actually be victimized by this ridiculous arguments spurring more and more of a conspiracies and schemes plotted simply to guarantee his griefs on power. That's really the deal. But what's been worrisome here is, so far, no regional GOP members would like to issue a statement upholding the final verdict coming from the Supreme Court that would give authority to President-elect Joe Biden. It's time to move on, and there should be more responsible action coming from the Republican leaders to unify the nation Across the party lines, there should be a bipartisan effort to suspend this type of division that might only prevail hatred and suspicion. In time of difficulty, there should be no more distrust in the system. It's time for us to have a faith that that type of a simple civic action can never pro prosper when President 
occupying the White House that would have never liked to recognize what he is supposed to and what comes from his power. That's his message. So people would actually already make their estimation. Everyone knows that who, I mean, Joe Biden won the election and this is open and shut case. Everything would be so clear. There is no more space for this type of disputable contentions. It's really crystal clear and we do not really need to have a clairvoyance, clairvoyance a supernatural power to see it through. However, President Donald Trump is taking this election hostage to simply wants to continue this pointless argument for nothing. And he's on continuation and power holding. That's a really the message. So everyone really wants to see more of a Adults like behaviors from Republican leaders, including Mitch McConnell. He says that this would be like in a weekly ritual every single time he makes any type of conference or he holds any serious address. He's been questioned. Would you accept Joe Biden as a winner of the election? Would you actually recognize there is no validity in Donald Trump's argument? Mitch McConnell again somehow. evaded the question. He would have liked to wait until the Electoral College results would have come out. When the Electoral College had cast their votes, then finally the answer would have come out. That's really the answer. But everyone knows that Joe Biden already carried 270 members from the Electoral College. The only pending procedure is the final vote. That's really the finalization of what happened on the election day and this would be a procedural matter because the rest of people knows what already happened and there is no chance that this would be wavered or this would be tackled unless there would be a seismic earthquake but irresponsible congressional members are still abetting this type of hawks by not taking a clear stance on the issue based upon political principles and procedures well preserved in the nation that's a problem and i understand this message but i know what's been coming out from the ground is this the supreme court of the united states rejects donald trump's argument for the pennsylvania election results of fraud there was no single or singular voice inside the court who wants to give approval for his belief because there will be no hearing and there will be no reviewing because the entire core wants to voice the very clarified and unanimous belief that there is a no value in it this type of uh, suggestion would it bear no consequence it's a really the open and shut case because the underlying cause Sustaining the validity of this argument had a no fundamental value in it. It's nothing but a logical fallacy built upon a baseless and pointless argument whose validity would it be no. That's the rule of the reason, even though it was deferred to Samuel Alito, the entire nine members stood by this type of decision by putting down own, their own signatures. That was really the message. There was no serious analysis required because simply it was enough. And the message was enough is enough and it's time to move on. Because the president right now sitting in the office should recognize how he could have beautifully pull off his retreat from the scene instead of plotting another scheme to drive a wedge issue into the society. And this is really ugly. That's the message. And I got it.